Welcome back to West Texas View. Welcome back to the West Texas View. I've been visiting with Monty Hopple and Brian Smith about the Midland Rockhounds, and we've just been having so much fun this morning. <laughs> and uh, just before the break, uh, Brian was telling us about what the, the players think when they come here. Most of them come here. This is their first uh, a pro baseball experience, and and so what are some of the comments you've had from some of them? Man, it's hot. <laughs> it's windy. It's windy. <laughs> windy. But it's windy. Uh, and depending on how the wind's blowing that day, some days the pitchers love it, some days the hitters love it. You never yeah. know. But uh, the number one thing that they say is out of anywhere else they go in the country or anywhere they've been growing up, this is by far the most friendly and the most welcoming area. Uh -huh. And that's certainly, I mean, since I've been here, like I said, I grew up in Dallas and then just came out here for my third year, but it's incredible, uh -huh. the support and just the genuine care that this community has for our ball players. Uh -huh. They make them feel welcome. We have a great group of fans um, that started a booster club last year that anybody can join. Uh, and uh, oh, you can support so. the players. You can even host a player if you want. We, you know, players are always looking for places to stay. Yes. Especially now. Yep, and right now it's a little bit tough, so. Because that's one of your big obstacles right now is finding a place for them to stay in yes. the off in the, uh, during the season. Right. Because most of them go back to their home in the off season. Right, right. So you're just trying to make sure they've got a good place to stay. And Absolutely, we do as much as we can so that way their job is to go out and play baseball uh -huh. and win games for all of our uh -huh. fans out here and uh -huh. make them, let them have fun. So we try to make it as comfortable as we can for them and there's so many community leaders with the city and the chamber and so many companies and that just make it so easy for these guys to have such a great time uh -huh. out here. And some of them have never seen a sandstorm. <laughs> And, yeah. and Absolutely. when they come here, they say, wow, this is a real sandstorm. <laughs> yeah, they love the ballpark, but yeah, th there's some weather days and they, they're, they're quite amazed on, on the, you know, what's, what's coming in. It's, it looks real dark and it's kind of orange in it, so that's just the dirt will be here soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have any problems with some of these foreign uh, uh, players who don't speak fluent English? No, we've never had an issue. Um, one of the great things that Oakland does is set up a support system for some of their international players, and really that ties back into being the team, and that every team, you know, they get so close, because basically they spend six months with each other in the clubhouse every day. Mm -hmm. They're taking those 15-hour bus rides we talked about, so they get to be very close, and they become a, no, their own family, and then West Texas has been so great about adopting them uh -huh. for the summer into their family. Uh -huh. Well, and, and that goes back to the fact that, that you're an affiliated team with a major league club that, that uh, you've really got this support group that, pe that our people here never see. <laughs> yeah, and you, you as a, a ball uh, team know about, but the general public never sees. No, they've got a great system. And they even have a baseball chapel system where we have Spanish-speaking people and also um, you know just the normal Sunday thing where players can go in and get advice and uh -huh. go through a Sunday service and it's it's that structure is set up through Major League and Minor League Baseball and it, it works Goodness. great for these players that are away from uh -huh. home for a long time or have problems so that, that's a, just a great service that's built into that organization. Uh -huh. That is amazing. I, I didn't have any idea about that. Well what is the what is the most um, what is the biggest problem that faces you as you get ready to open a new season? Probably a little bit. I mean, we're putting signs up and we're getting the concourse ready and games ready. Probably one of the biggest things we face a little bit the weather because there's certain days in the spring and the summer um, that you know you just have to deal with and, and you kind of plan on and the grass is trying to grow and things. So I would say a little bit the weather and just so many things coming to a head you know, right right when it's typically not the best weather. And, and with the, trying to water the grass when there's no water. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but I was For, thinking in terms of like season tickets, you don't sell season tickets or box seats or anything like that? Oh yeah, the whole off season we spend marketing. We're selling promotions, we're selling signs, we're marketing tickets, mini plans. If you can't you know, afford a full season ticket, you can buy a 10 game plan, a 17 game plan, you can buy some un undated vouchers. 
we're selling picnics for corporations, much like you said when you came out with your with your bank. So uh -huh. that is the majority of what we're doing in the off season. People say well, you go to spring training. What do you do in the off season? There's no games. <laughs> well, it's busier than ever in the off season. During the season, we're kind of we're going through. You're raping we, the benefits, right? So. What we've already <laughs> planned. So, but yeah, ticket sales are great. Uh, I mean, we're renting suites. And we're we're doing all that sort of things. So it's very busy there, and and now we're kind of turning to the operational things, getting stuff ready for outside. Uh -huh. so. and, and see, I I didn't realize that that look that that minor league had things like box seats and suites. Because uh -huh. every time I've been here, I've just sat in the regular okay. the regular. Uh, bleachers and <laughs> yeah there's 22 suites out there and we have that is amazing we have picnic areas that seat up to 2500 people a night and that's one of the best things we do whether the church a little league team uh -huh. a service club company um we they can come out and enjoy it together and have that camaraderie oh that is great well i know that you that you market a lot of things to the area communities because as i said we in big spring you had uh we had a lot of, of uh, mm -hmm. groups that would come in bus loads. R yeah. I mean, real bus, several buses would yeah. would <laughs> trek down the highway to come to a game. And uh, is is that is that a huge part of your audience every night, or is that just kind of a small part? Well, we, we track our, our audience. Um, believe it or not, we have about 61, 62 percent Midland and the other 39% is outside the area. And it, it fluctuates every year, but about 20% Odessa and 20% from surrounding communities all over. Uh -huh. So it's a, it's a big impact. And we do, Brian will tell you, we have a lot of staff members that are out in 10 to 12 communities doing some appearances and selling tickets and talking to the chamber because this is West Texas' team. Uh -huh. After we built the stadium, a lot of people say they don't go to two the Texas Rangers games as much because we have the major league team, a major league uh -huh. facility right here in Midland. And, <laughs> and the ones that are going to be playing, uh, that's right, playing absolutely. the Rangers. You're going to see them here anyway. So, <laughs> so yeah, we, um, we, uh -huh. we, we do, um, we kind of track that. And that's how we kind of get our economic impact numbers and that sort of thing. Well, the, the, the first thing that uh, strikes me in talking to y'all is that y'all are very young at heart. But, <laughs> and you have to be yeah, to be in baseball because yeah. you're playing a game for the rest of your life. But, Brian, tell mm -hmm. me what has been the most fun about working, about bringing your craft to a <laughs> baseball team the or a soccer team. <laughs> <laughs> the most fun, honest, I mean, there is not, I, for Ever since I was 14 years old, I've had a plan that involved being in Major League Baseball, being in Minor League Baseball, getting to come to the ballpark every single day because there's absolutely nothing better. And I think the most fun is being able to take some of that passion, that some of that energy, and just bring that to the fan, to everybody in the community, and then see them at the ballpark. Go out to a school and see the kids get excited and start chanting Rocky, Rocky, and he comes out and <laughs> and know the impact. You've absolutely, had on and those then kids. you see those kids <laughs> later on chasing Rocky, squirting him with, you know, throwing water balloons at him on the concourse, having a great time. <laughs> see, it's see the enthusiasm just comes through to him. <laughs> we'll see you in just a minute and, and have our last segment about the Midland Rockhounds. Thanks for joining us for News West 9's West Texas View with Johnny Lou Avery. This has been a public affairs presentation of KWAB-TV and KWES-TV.